Powered by the official car of CES. Go to facebook.com slash Ford Fusion to share your opinion about the all new 2013 Ford Fusion. Hey everybody, Robert Heron here at CES 2012, hanging out at the JVC booth, checking out some of the finest eye candy on the show floor. Right off the bat, new for 2012. Actually, these were introduced about a month ago, but now they're in the chain and able to buy today. Our JVC's brand new front projectors using their incredible technology, uh, the X30, the X70, and the X90. All of them support 2K imagery. Also, the X70 and the X90 bump it up with e-shift technology to produce near like 4K images. I gotta say the detail was impressive. Uh, all models support 3D output. The X70 and the X90 are THX certified, so you get extra oomph and performance out of it right out of the box. In addition to being THX certified, it's also THX 3D certified as well. Uh, prices for the three projectors, the X30 is gonna start out at a modest $3,500 for that technology. The X70 steps it up to just under $8,000 at $79.99, and the X90, the flagship model, will retail for just under $12,000. New across all three models is something called lens memory that allows you to control not only the focus, as well as the zoom and lens shifting, so that depending on the type of content you're doing, be it 16 by nine content or four by three, you're able to fit the screen height perfectly so you're not wasting any real estate. This is also a far more cost-effective option compared to something like an anamorphic lens that would go on the front of the projector. Those tend to be starting at about the four to five digit price range. So having something like this built right into the projector gets you some good extra functionality right out of the box. Also, across all three projectors will be a LAN port for IP control as well as updates. This also includes the entry-level X30 model, which before you had to insert a USB key for firmware updates. Now you'll be able to do not only IP control, but the updates as well. Also new, 3D scaling for their projectors. Before, the previous models only supported scaling for 2D. Now their engine internally will scale your 3D images as well. And I had to say, we had a chance to preview the brand new X90 in action on a 150 inch Stewart film screen that had 1.7 gain, 150 inches in 2D and 3D content. And we looked at everything from upscale Blu-rays to content originally captured in 4K, scaled back down to Blu-ray resolution, then back up to 4K, and it still looked dynamite. But I have to say the highlight was the 3D demo. They actually show uh, uh, a good IMAX movie. I won't get into the title right now, but there is a fish that swims out of the screen, and it is arguably some of the most effective 3D I've ever seen. At JVC's booth, they also have a wonderful hands-on demo where you can play with some of their prosumer cameras, including the brand new GY-HMQ10 that supports true 4K recording. The camera actually to store two hours of content requires, get this, 32 gigabyte cards, but you need four of them plugged into this thing at once. Uh, I have to say, it looks awesome. It's gonna be out in April with a price between five and $6,000. And hey, for this and any of our other coverage here at CES 2012, do visit us at revision3.com slash CES. The 2013 Ford Fusion features Lane Keeping System, which is comprised of two subsystems, Lane Keeping Aid and Lane Keeping Warning. It works by using a camera in the back of the rearview mirror that identifies the lines on the road. If the vehicle begins to drift outside the identified lane, the electronic powered assistance steering will vibrate the steering wheel similar to rumble strips. If the vehicle continues to drift after the warning, the E-Pass will then apply steering torque to direct the vehicle back in the lane. Thanks to Ford for powering Techzilla CES coverage.